Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Problem Solver Garage. In today's episode, we're working on the power windows, guys, but not the electrical part of them. Both of these windows are working electrically, but the problem we're having is this window here. doesn't go up all the way and the other window also is having some major issues see it doesn't go up right and it also moves like this so we got to figure that out so this is like I did another episode just like a minute ago where I fixed the electrical part of it so I got these windows working but I couldn't fit everything into one episode so realistically you should probably watch both you can always click on in the description below and there'll be a link to that episode and also there'll be a link to like all my corvette episodes the whole series in a row from day one taking out gas starting the motor electrical harnesses whatever lots and lots of episodes okay so i mean the first thing we're gonna do guys is we're gonna take this interior piece off it's super easy there's a screw there screw there underneath somewhere uh right there it's actually missing and there's one here and then you just have to take this this switch off so there's like one of those like pin things in there. You kind of push it out from the side with a screwdriver. I'll show you more in depth in my other video on the, doing this. And then this thing is just kind of Velcroed on. The whole thing will come up. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to try to make this video quick, guys. Okay, guys. So I got the panel off. Um, so when I go down with the window, seems to be working. When I go up, seems to be working too. And then it gets to a point where... I think the teeth are broken on there because watch what happens when I pull this window all the way up right let me close it here watch right it even seems to be lined up okay this one and it doesn't move really see but we can pull it up okay right so now it's pulled up the way it's supposed to be um, but here's the problem right so now let's go back in so look what happens when we go to roll it down now. Ready? See? The motor is just spinning freely. It's not hitting the gear. So, okay. So right now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take this thing out. We're going to start with that. a couple screws. It's like a cover for the uh, electric motor. Let's pull that off first. Okay, guys. So as long as the window is up, this is actually pretty easy. So in the back here... See, this for this motor to get it off, that's what we got to do. See, there's three bolts. They are 716s. You can reach in there. So we're going to take all three of those out right now and remove this motor. Oh, yeah, and this just unplugs like this. Okay, let's do that right now. Okay, so we loosen those three bolts. This comes off the back of it. Um, and then in order to get this out, we actually have to loosen this one bolt to kind of push this whole mechanism a little bit over to get it out. So I'll do that right now and I'll pull this out. Let's see what's going on in there, guys. Okay, guys, we got that motor out. Let's check out these gears in here. Is that the problem? So starting up top, that's what the gears look like. All right, let me watch the video and see, because I don't even know. Okay guys, well you've seen it, um, I just did. So it's missing gears, so that's what's going on. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way to fix that. We're gonna have to pull uh, this whole mechanism right out guys and probably get a new one. So I'm gonna start on pulling it out right now. Okay guys, well I'm pretty sure in order to get that out, we're gonna have to take the window out. So we're gonna loosen like these things here that like push on the window. We're gonna loosen all this stuff. Uh, we're going to loosen these stoppers here. We're going to put everything in a nice spot so we know exactly how it went, um, where it's not going to get disturbed. We're going to loosen all of this. Same with that stopper. Uh, we're going to start with that because I learned the hard way on the other side. When you just release this, it kind of springs back. So I'll try to get to that after. I'm going to start by just trying to get the windshield out, or the window out. Okay, guys, so inside of there were these, like, stopper things, right? So those stop the window to only go so high, right? So what we're going to do now is see the glass is attached right there in one spot. And then the other spot that it's attached is 
Well, it's hard to see, but you have to kind of lower the window in a way. So these, see this hole here? So that bolt lines up. We're gonna try to do that right now. There it is, see? Well, you can't see, let me put the light on. Okay, see there it is with the light. So we're gonna unscrew that. And then we're gonna unscrew that other one. See that one? And the, the window should just come right up. Let's, let's try that. Okay guys, so I lowered the window now and I'm just trying to get those like, I got those, those nuts unscrewed. I'm just trying to push the bolts out of the track. There it goes. All right, let's see if she'll come out. So the spring action of this brought that whole track back to the top. So we'll have to lower the track somehow to get this window out. Now yeah, that works. Just don't pinch your fingers, guys. Okay, we got it right at the bottom, so we just gotta stick something in here to make it stay. Too bad I don't have a buddy right now. Okay, we got it. Let's get this window out. Okay, she's almost out, so this here is in the way of that nut sticking out of the window. So we just gotta unscrew that and move this over a little bit. Over here, we have to remove this rubber piece. And I think that'll be it. So I'm gonna do that right now and try again. Okay. So close, yet so far away. Okay, so there's like a stopper, see? I was able to get the window up, get the stopper out. Let's see if it'll come out now. <sighs> okay, so now what's going on is on the on the other side of the window, there is like a like a bolt sticking out for that for that roller, right? So that bolt is hitting on the inside of this side of the door when I get it up. So I'm gonna unscrew this stuff and try to move this over enough this way so that can clear. So that's what I'm stuck on now, so I'll try that. Okay, see so yeah, I loosened all these, so now this whole thing kind of moves. So that should be enough now. If not, we'll have to reach in and unbolt that nut or that screw from the glass, but we'll try getting it out. Okay guys, so I got it out, it wasn't easy. So yeah, I had to push this all the way in. I got that little wheel out, and then I literally like tilted the whole window up like this. I pulled it all the way over to here, and then here, see I unscrewed this thing completely, and I moved it off to the side, so I, screwed it, I unscrewed it there, and this bolt at the bottom, and that gave me room, and I just pulled it, pulled that wheel part with that bolt out through here. Uh, it wasn't easy, but it's out. Okay, let's continue. Okay guys, so the next thing we gotta do is uh, this wrench that's holding this track, like this part of the track. We need to take that out, gently hold it, and that track will just bounce right up to the top. So we need to get the track to the top. This has to kind of be aligned here, just like that. That should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna bring the track up right now. Okay, see the track went all the way to the top right here. So now what you gotta do is unscrew this bolt and we'll be able to take this, this like track that goes up and down that this little wheel sits into and we'll be able to slide that out and we can just take it right out that hole. So I'll do that right now and remove this thing. Okay, so just like I said, see, that came out. So we got another big part out. Um, so normally you would have to unscrew these two screws. There's like a piece there and there's like a, a section that goes in with like a wheel and it goes back and forth. So these are usually like almost impossible to get out. So you would have to use like vice grips or something, but I'll show you what happened inside. Since this track went all the way up now with the window out, see, um, as long as you remember to put that wheel back in, I'll show you inside. See what ended up happening is that wheel 
Can you see that? See that wheel just came out. So we're good. And we could easily put that back into the track if we needed to. Um, I hope you're getting it. But So anyway, so that part's out now. So we got basically this whole thing disattached. So we got this loose, uh, disattached from that track because the wheel was on the windshield, right? So that can stay in there for now. Um, so what we got to do now, guys, is got to unscrew this. Um, and these two, the only problem is the second we do that, this thing will spring back, but that's okay because we're replacing it anyways. So you just have to be careful not to have like your hand in there while it springs back. I'll try to get that on video for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, you didn't really see that because the camera didn't catch it, but see, all the tension of the spring is gone now. This just came out. So I guess what we should have done is just prop this out right at the beginning and that would have taken the tension off of this thing. So now I know that and we'll do that when we're putting this back together. Okay, I'm gonna unscrew this last bolt right now. This whole thing is loose. I still don't know how it comes out, but as you can see, we're getting somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna try to pull this out and I'll show you guys how to get it out. Okay, so I tried bringing it out through here, but it will not fit. But what I figured out is I can roll these wheels um, right off this thing, see? As long as you remember how they go, so we can roll that one off and then we can roll this whole thing off as well, see? So I'm just gonna remember how this goes. I'll put it like that. And then as soon as this comes out, I'm putting it back on so I don't mess anything up. Um, and I think I can get it out to the bottom hole now. Okay, so I brought it down to the bottom here. Put that end up in there. So I mean, when we're putting these in, we're gonna do this the exact same way. And boom, there we got it. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. And before we do, I'm gonna put that piece back on right away so I don't forget how it went. Okay guys, so there it is. Um, so as you can see, the problem with this one is the teeth are all gone. So we're gonna need a whole new one of these. And don't worry guys, I got you covered. Okay guys, here we are on the Eckler's website. So here we have two window regulators and this is all in American dollars. Pretty expensive, but there they are, see? Okay, let's see what other options we have. Okay, there's a motor, power window motor, which we did in the previous episode. Ah, look at that, you can buy those new. These guys basically have everything, guys. Okay, oh, look at that. A repair kit for a power window regulator. This is perfect for us and it's only $31, like nothing wrong with that. Okay, there's another repair kit. This one looks a little bit more complicated and it's more expensive. Or we can just buy this whole thing. But this is Problem Solver Garage, guys. And we like to do things the least expensive way. So we're going to buy this guy here. $31, guys. So make sure you click the link in the description if you want to buy stuff. And that way I get a small little commission. Help support the channel, guys. Okay, let's get into this. Okay guys, remember in the previous episode where we changed the electrical motor, repaired it? Well, as you can see, our window is completely off the tracks here. I didn't get into it on that video. So I'm gonna get into that right now and fix the right side of the car while we're waiting for our parts. Okay, so here we are on the passenger side. So I realized, I was looking around, you know, just from learning from the other door, I realized that that slider that's inside of there that I just showed you on the other side, right? It sits like this. Uh, that, it fell out. It's just sitting there loosely. So I'm gonna have to basically put that back in. So in order to put that back in, I need to unscrew these and they do not wanna come off, like they're stuck. So I'm gonna try to get some vice grips. If I have to guys, I'll take a grinder and grind them off and I'll put new screws so i'll try the vice grips right now and i'll show you right now inside actually really quick what's going on in there okay so going in the hole there see 
there's that track and see that is out of it it fell out at some point or when somebody was putting something together see, so in order to put that in there without pulling the window out and stuff this needs to come out we can slide that like we can slide the wheel in for, through the end and then screw it back on um, so that's what we will do and I'm also noticing are those welded on maybe I can just throw a ratchet on there and pull that off I'm gonna try that right now if that works then great if not we're gonna go to plan B okay so you grab yourself a pair of vice grips you put it on a good tight setting like you want this to be tight boom just like that and then you grab yourself another set of vice grips guys just like this and there you go okay i'm gonna do the other one okay guys so i got it out right that's the way it goes so you can see where that thing used to be a long time ago so what we're gonna do now is before we put it back on we're gonna grab some bearing grease a lot of it and we're gonna cake this and we're gonna reach in there and we're gonna cake that little that little uh wheel too so everything moves nice i'll get in there i'll grease it up and then like i said i'm just gonna put the wheel on and then attach this should be should be easy enough so i'm gonna do all that right now okay guys so we got that piece on are you guys ready for this everything works perfect window works great remember when the car is running it'll have even more power okay so now to adjust it so starting with outside okay so we got the t-top on that's the first thing we had to do so now you know we're gonna have to adjust this window up for example watch this right does it close not really it's it's too high right so we're gonna get inside the car so inside the car here we have a few different adjustments so see these ones here they're like stoppers for the for the wheels that go up and down so basically you can like lower this or raise this and that will make the window go up a certain amount also on this side is the exact same thing so we can unscrew this lower it a little bit raise it right you can like raise one lower one to kind of tilt the window so that's one adjustment another adjustment is there's these like foamy things here see so what that does is you unscrew this and you can like bring it in or out and that will push the window like watch when i close it see so i can make it over the rubber piece so that seems okay it's at its max anyways um, you can also kind of, like these tracks, you can kind of move them forward or backwards this way a tiny bit or in or out a tiny bit. Not much though, guys. They, it's very minimal movement. So you can try playing around with that. And you just, you know, keep trying and moving things. This one has the same thing. You know, if it's rubbing the door when you close, you might want to move this track over a tiny bit and this one and it might be all right. You know things like that there's a, one of those foamy things here too that can push on the window more so i'm just going to play around with these settings try to get this perfect right now and the way you would do it is so you have the door completely closed right and you put the window up you don't put it like all the way you lower it a little bit maybe like that much and then you put all the adjusters to that right because then when it pushes up against the adjusters it's still going to go a little bit higher that's kind of what you do you just play around with it okay i'm going to do that right now okay so i had it like a little bit lower than fully closed right and i adjusted these adjusters maximum to the low both of them but see i want to show you what i mean so now if i put the window up watch see it still goes up a little bit because now it's like super pushing up against those so you always want to set it a little bit lower okay let's see how it looks now when we close it so there it is fully closed not even close to rubbing there everything's lining up good ready boom it's nice and tight but not too tight i got the height all figured out let's go inside and i'll show you quickly how it works and you can see me in the reflection okay guys as you can see she is closing perfect and opening perfect 
very happy with that no issues um it's not hitting the rubbers it's not not fitting everything's got figured out okay so now you know how to adjust one of these right so now what we got to do guys is unfortunately we got to order that part so i'm gonna pass forward till i have the part right now okay guys and just like that we are in the future our parts are here so there's three ways of fixing this track here guys so there's three products all three products are gonna be in the description of this video guys so product number one is basically this thing here um, so what you do with this is you use your whole existing thing here and basically see where the teeth are missing we're just gonna put this on the side of where the spring is this is kind of just gonna go on like that and then we got new teeth guys just like that so this is the cheapest way there will be a link the second way um, there is this whole piece you can buy and then you have to like take these rivets out and it comes with everything you need so then you change this whole piece right that's the second most expensive way and the most expensive way guys you can just get a whole brand new one of these there will also be a link to that in the video um so you can just click on that and support the channel guys okay so obviously we are the problem solver here guys so we just chose the least expensive way let's get started by putting this on right now okay the first thing we're gonna do is remove these bolts here uh let's do that okay i got these removed um just to show you guys something really quick so i'm just kind of looking over these instructions here see and they're saying when you remove the motor right which we didn't do this so you can lock this with a bolt so then it doesn't spring out so we didn't do that see there's like a hole there i think it would have been that one or the other one so just so you know bolt couple washers and then that won't open up on you um we didn't do it that way but so i'm letting you know that's why it's good to watch the whole entire video guys because this way if i make a mistake you're learning from it right i could just cut it out of the video and pretend i'm the best but like i said mistakes are part of working on cars and this way you won't make the same mistakes that i have made okay guys so we're basically taking this thing and we're basically aligning it perfect like see right here we're gonna align it perfect with the old thing here see you don't want to add a little bit or you get what i'm saying okay so we're gonna align this perfectly and then once we got it aligned we're gonna get some vice grips and we're gonna squeeze this thing down so it can't move so let me set that up also guys i noticed that it does matter which way it goes so like if you put it a certain way see it doesn't really line up here or here uh and also these don't really line up so you gotta put it the right way where it lines up see that lines up there and that lines up there so that's the right way okay let me tighten that up okay guys so i got it aligned um it was a little hard to align it but see i'll flip it over i kind of had to make it stick out a little bit more see if i have to i'll grind that little piece off there but see, that seems about right to me so that should work see there it is from like this angle um yeah it is what it is okay so now we're gonna get a drill bit and we're gonna drill these holes through preferably a nice new fresh one just like that just the size of that hole okay i'm gonna drill all three of those right now okay so we have the holes made i mean this is pretty straightforward right so then we're gonna take these little uh screws so the side where the spring is is where you want these heads so i guess they don't hit anything uh that's what they're saying in the instructions just like that and then a washer and a thing on the other side of it okay let's put it all together okay guys i put these on and i gotta say they're really good quality screws i got them on really tight but i just realized i got them on backwards um the the nut part has to be on the side with the spring i don't know the instructions are kind of complicated but so anyways i'm just going to turn all these around right because see when this slides in there it's gonna hit um okay so let me turn these around really quick okay guys so there it is we got it on the right way now it looks good um this is totally optional but i'm gonna grab my welder and i'm just gonna tack these so they don't unscrew and i'm also just gonna 
weld these sides here. Like I said, optional, you don't have to do it. Uh, this is stainless, that's steel, but it should still weld with a normal welder, just flux core. So I just got this super cheap little welder. I'm just gonna zap it right now. Okay, there it is. See, it's welded up now. Um, good enough, right? I put one there, one there, and I just zapped that side, and I did the heads, like I said. Okay, we're gonna let this cool down five minutes, and we're putting it back. Okay, guys, so the first thing you wanna do when you're about to put it back is you get some bearing grease like this, right? And all these, like, little spinning parts. You just wanna squeeze it all in there. So everything's nice and greased up. So you want to do that to that. All these tracks are going to fill them with bearing grease as well. So everything moves nice. Uh, just around here, you're going to put some in. Anything that moves on here. And we're going to put some grease on this spring as well because it's kind of rusty just to prevent it from rusting. And we're also going to do that on the other door. We'll just be able to reach in and do that since that one we never took the track out. So I'm going to do that right now and then we're putting it back. Uh, I'm just double checking, making sure this all works. So I'm like testing these gears, right? And that gear in there, it's, it works. I mean, it's close to the edge of it. It's hard to see, I apologize, but it does work. Everything seems good. So I did make one mistake. I was supposed to countersink these uh, screw heads. They kinda, they don't actually hit that piece there. See, there's like a bump. Um, okay, I'm gonna take this apart really quick. So let me pull the motor off. Okay guys, so there they are. See, like those are not supposed to be sticking out. You're supposed to pre-drill like a bigger kind of hole with a drill bit so these are flush, right? So they kind of hit that part. They don't even really. I was, first I thought of maybe uh, grinding this off. But you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm just gonna cut these bolts off. Uh, so I don't even know how I missed that. My bad. I read in the instructions and somehow it didn't click in. So I apologize. It's just a weird day today. It's a day of mistakes. But I'm just going to cut these off with a grinder since I welded them like an idiot. Uh, and I'm just going to weld this thing on better. Like I'm just going to grab my welder. I'm just going to weld the whole thing on. And then I'm going to weld in the holes. That's all I can really do right now at this point. So I'm going to do that off camera okay guys there it is i apologize for that see i just shaved those off welded everything uh, a little bit more just like that yeah the welds don't look the best but they're actually good strong welds all the way through okay this thing is good to go now uh let's put the motor on just to make sure everything works okay i put the motor on that seems to look pretty good uh it's on there I almost feel like this place should be on the other side, but it, it should work there. Okay, let's put the plate on and everything. Okay guys, so I got this plate on and once I put the plate on, it actually pulled everything together really nice. Uh, it is a good product guys, this does work. Um, so if you look inside now, see that gear in there? See, it's not at the edge of it anymore at all. It's actually perfect. I mean, I'm gonna say it works. Okay, I'm gonna hook this up to some power. So you need to put a ground on it and plug it in and let's just see how this works. Okay guys, so I got it all hooked up. Let's see if she works. Yeah, as you can see, it works perfect, guys. Okay, let's put it back on. Okay guys, here it is. No bolt in here. Um, I'll show you how to put it in the way I took it out. So first thing you wanna do is take this thing out right here. So remember how it goes. Don't flip it the wrong way or something. So it goes like that, don't forget. Okay, now you got this thing here. So we took it out through here. Let's put it in through here. And boom, just like that, we got it in, guys. So now that that's in, the two parts with the little wheels, we're gonna try to get them up this way come out the top here okay we got the two out so now we can open that like so and we can put this thing back on 
Okay, and everything's moving nice with that grease in there. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so once you're at that point, so this can just kind of sit there like this. Um, we should be able to take this whole entire thing now and get some of the bolts and we should be able to start screwing this back on, guys. Okay, let me just think and I'll get right, right back to you. Okay, guys, actually, we're going to take this thing off temporarily because so we're sliding it off. We don't need this on yet. This will be easier without it. Okay, so now, this whole thing, see, can go like that. And we can line this up, see, without any force being on the spring. So we can get our bolts. Uh, there's, you know, three bolts. One, two, three. Okay, let's do that right now. Okay guys, so now that we got those three bolts attached and that attached, see there's a wire here. So you have to make sure that the wire, see that track there? You have to make sure that the wire it goes behind the track. You can even zip tie it in there or something. So nothing gets in the way, so that's all good. See, so now what we're gonna have to do is, see these teeth here? We're gonna have to bring those down enough, to put the motor in here so the motor can catch it and then it doesn't move. So in order to do that, it's actually pretty easy. So see, all we gotta do is this thing here. See, you just, see when you do that, I'll show you what's going on in here. See, watch. See, it just brings it in. Once you get it to that point, get it, then you can put the motor on and it will lock it. And then it'll just stay like this. See what I mean? Um, and then we'll be able to put the rest of it on. Uh, we can even, we'll even be able to hook up the wires and then we can lower and raise this as needed to put the window on. So it should be pretty easy. So we're going to do that. Um, so one more thing I got to show you inside. So remember how on the other side we took this thing out to get that little wheel in there, right on the other side. So what we got to do is as we're pushing this down, guys, pretty simple, guys. See inside of there, let me turn on the light. Okay, see, so as you're pushing this down, you gotta make sure that that little wheel, see, it just goes into that track. We're gonna throw some bearing grease in there too. So once you get that in there, right, and then you put the motor on to lock it into place. I'm gonna do that right now, guys. Okay, guys, so I got this piece here. So I'm slowly pushing this down. I'm aiming that little wheel into that area that we talked about. See, and at the same time, we're going to put this thing on. Uh, it's quite the process, but it's not bad, honestly, guys. As long as you know the order of things, you can do it. Okay, so we got that on. See, so now this will just go down. There's enough room for it. See? Might have to pull it out this way so this wheel clears right in here. Okay, and now we're aligning that other wheel so it fits right into those grooves. Okay, it's, it's working. Okay guys, so I got it in. I got that wheel into the track there, see? Everything's working good, but I realized that, see, this bolt right here is like up against the track there. It's, it's hard to see, I'm sorry guys, but so I'm gonna take this bolt out. I should be able to get this under with that bolt out. So I'll do that right now. See, cause the problem is it's not going down anymore. That bolt's in the way. So I'm gonna remove just this one bolt, which is in the way. Oh, it's actually this one, my bad. I'll put this one back. My mistakes are your friend. Okay, this one's in the way. So we're removing this one. Oh yeah, I can see it clearing now. Okay, let's put it down. See, it passed. See, I don't even know if that's supposed to be there because the other side doesn't have a bolt there. I think somebody maybe drilled that hole and put that there when it wasn't supposed to be there. So you might not even have this problem. But anyways, see, now that I got that bolt loose, this whole thing just goes up and down perfectly. See, look, up and down, up and down. So now all we gotta do is just get it to get hung up on something here. Whatever, that works. We're gonna go get the motor now. 
Okay guys, so you grab your motor. See the motor goes on like this, right on the front of this. So what we're gonna do is just get it ready over here, just the way it's gonna have to go. And I just remembered from the other side, you do have to uh, not put the bottom bolt in because you have to kind of um, push this up, right? We didn't put the bottom bolt in yet, so we're good there. So that's what you wanna do. Okay, I'm pulling it down. So you got it down really low. Now I'm gonna take a screwdriver, put it in here. See, it kinda of locked it, it's like right here now. So now I can put this motor on. Okay guys, so the motor is on nice and tight. Uh, everything's good there, three bolts at the back. We ended up putting this bottom bolt in, which also kinda of hangs this whole contraption in there. Uh, this bolt, I believe, wasn't supposed to be there. I think somebody drilled a hole and added that. So we got the two. So everything's looking good there. We're basically ready to plug this thing in. Uh, also, I come to the conclusion that this ground wire, maybe if you had power locks, it's maybe for that. So I think we can just leave that in there. Or, you know what, we'll do the same thing we did on the other side. It is a ground, just to give it a good ground so everything works. We'll do that there. On the other side, I just attach it to the screw here. In the first half of this video where we did the repair of the electrical motor, guys, make sure you check that out. And also in this video, if you want a new motor, there'll be a link to that. Basically everything you see me working on in these videos, uh, there will be links to brand new parts in case you want brand new ones or little repair kits or whatever. So always check the description in the videos and make sure you watch the whole series, guys. This is like episode, I don't know anymore. I lost track, but it's this episode. Um, just watch them all in a row. Click on the playlist that will also be in the description. Grab some popcorn and watch every episode in a row of this whole restoration of this Corvette. If you do that, you'll have an idea of how to restore a car and you won't make mistakes like taking the whole car apart and then never putting it back together. Okay, let's get back to this window. Okay, so now technically if we start the ignition, we should be able to make this go up and down. Uh, we're gonna pull this out. That's no longer holding anything. Okay, next guys, we need to install this little guy right here, that's your next move. You wanna put this guy in. So that part will go right here, guys. See this hole that's like ovaled? So you have to put it underneath, through here or through there and tighten it up like just hand tight so it can move still. Because once the glass is in, you actually can't get to this. There's just too much stuff in the way. So this is next. And also one more thing, guys. So when I was putting the motor in, guys, um, I forgot to put this back plate on, my bad. So I'm gonna do that off camera right now. So that just goes on to the back uh, of like, of the, 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 the whole contraption here. It goes on the back and then the bolts go on there. So that's what I gotta do right now. And it goes on this way, um, not that way. So it would go on this way. Okay, I'll do that right now. Okay guys, so we got everything put back just the way it was. Uh, so we're gonna be putting this thing on. I just quickly wanna show you. So you don't wanna go too far up or down because it'll fall off, but. Everything works. Okay, let's put this little piece on now. Okay guys, we got that little piece on. It's loose. It's just kinda sitting there. So now the window. So this little wheel part, see? So you have to, in the back of the window, get it in like this. Put it down pretty low. It passes that thing we just put on, see? And then, you're gonna kinda lift this window up. And as you're lifting it, you gotta try to get... See, we got the wheel right there. We just have to push this part like down a little bit and we're trying to get that wheel onto that track should be pretty easy see there it is i just need both my hands to do this here so i'm going to do it right now okay so we got it in the track see the track's loose so now we can pull this over like so see and we can get this down as you can see see there it goes guys i mean sorry for the shaky camera business i wish i had a cameraman but i'm not quite there yet Okay, so once we're at this point, see now we can kinda lower this in. 
And look at that, our window is down. So now, the next step, guys. Okay, guys, next is this piece, the track. Uh, we'll put some lube in there, obviously. We'll do that once it's in the car. Um, so you unscrew that. Okay, just one more time. So I got this all greased up. See, there's a stopper there, so you won't be able to get it in uh, like that. See, that's the wheel we got to get in. So we have to put that wheel in from the top. And remember, your window can go up and down, or that rail. So let's get this in first, right? So you get it in, and you have to have it on that side of the rail, right? So once you get it in there, see, now you can basically, from this hole, get your hand in there, and you should be able to slide that in from the top. Uh, impossible to record, I think. I'll try it. Maybe I'll leave it in the video if it works. Okay, so let's try that, right? So you get it in, like so. All right, remember, if you need to, you can lift it up or down. See, there you go. So now you bring this up, you grab it with the screw there and at the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so we got this in, this is still loose, but the bottom screw is in holding it in place. So what we gotta do now is, see, we're gonna, we, got enough, we need this to move so we can get the window in. So we got the window sitting like that. So this part of the window needs to go, see right on the back of that track, there's like a hole. So we need to get it in the hole and then there's a nut for the other side that we're gonna screw on. And in the front, uh, we don't have to worry about that because the front is already on that area there. See, like the roller's already in there. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, there it goes. And remember, you can lift it up or down if you need to. But in our case, I think it's perfect, actually. Okay, it's in. So now we put the nut on. Um, if you can't get to it, you might have to lift or lower the window. Okay, we got the window up, as you can see. See, and there it is. So we can just put that right on. Lots of room to that. Okay, let me get that on right now and I'll show you what's next. Okay, so now we're gonna lower the window, probably about to the halfway point. That works. So now we can start attaching these rails the way they were. And you can kind of see by the dirt where they were originally, so we're gonna put them back in the same place and then see if we need to line it up later. So this is what I'm talking about. See, we're doing these now, that one, and this one. So I'm gonna put them together and show you what it looks like. Okay, so for example, see we got this thing, so by the dirt, see you can tell that that goes under there, and you can basically get it to where it was, um, you know, you get what I'm saying, okay, let me do that. Okay guys, so we got this track on, this track we got this bolt in, now in order to get to this bolt, it's a nut and bolt, we're going to have to put the window all the way up, be careful not to put it too high so it doesn't fall off the tracks, because it'll just come right out. Uh, and the second thing we got to do is remember how we attached the window to that uh, rail that goes across? Well, on this side, see, there's also the same thing. I'll try to show you through this little hole here. See, there it is. So you got to get your hand in there and we got to get this track. See what I mean? On, on this, this nut and like put a bolt on the back of it. Hope I'm explaining that right. Anyway, so I'm going to do that. See, it's almost there, off camera, because I need both my hands, so I'll do that. Okay, so I'm trying to get that in. So in order to get that in, I had to lift up the window and loosen this side. I just, the hole wasn't lining up, so I'm loosening that, and that will allow the window to kind of move back and forth so the hole can go in there. So in case you're struggling with that, just loosen that a little bit. There you go, see, now the window will move. Okay, I'm going to do it off camera. Okay, guys, that's tightened back up. And in this hole here, as you can see, See, that's on its track now. So this window, no problem now, goes up and down. Okay, so now we're gonna put it as high as it'll go, but not let it fall out. So we can reach in underneath and get this bolt in. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, guys, so this thing's on, uh, this thing's on. We're gonna have to put this, this stopper thing on. So what you wanna do is you kind of push the window up like this, and then you basically put it as far as it'll go pushing on it, and then you tighten it, because you want it to, to push the window out as much as it'll go, 
so it lines up here. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, there is a back one here, which we can get in from in here. So we'll put both of those on right now. Uh, no big deal. And then once those are on, okay, we're gonna not fully adjust them yet. Like we might have to tweak some things, but then we're gonna lower the window completely. So I'll put those on and then I'll lower the window and I'll show you what we're doing next. There's these two stoppers. One goes there one goes there and those tell the window how high to go right so okay let me do that right now okay guys so we got these on see just like that this one kind of goes at an angle got this one on pretty much we have them in the same spot that they were because you can tell where they were because of like the dirt and stuff okay so now what we're gonna do guys is we need to put these stoppers in they basically look like this and what they do is those wheels that go up and down the tracks, that track and that track, right? Those go on the inside and they stop it to make the window go a certain height. I think I even mentioned this in this video, but that was like two weeks ago when I ordered the parts. Okay, so I'm going to put these on from the back. Uh, start with that. I'm going to kind of put them where the old screw was and hopefully that works for now. Okay, guys, I got it. It's all the way up right now. See, I just put those things in roughly where they were. Um, so I'll show you how to adjust it now. So it's pretty good, but it's not perfect. So see, when you go to close the window, it's pretty tight, see? It does close, but it's, it's really, really tight. So what we're gonna do now is go inside. Okay, so you're gonna go inside, right? And then you're gonna just lower it just a little bit. See what I mean? Like that's too much. Maybe like that amount. See, so there is a little gap. Um, and then what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to unscrew these things. And you're going to basically see, put them all the way to the bottom. So they're going to be a little bit lower than they were. And same with this one. So you just put it right so it sits on it, on that wheel, right? Um, and then you try it. And then you'll see. Okay, I'm going to tighten those right now. Okay, tighten them both. Let's close this. And see, there is a little gap, but see what happens is it always goes a little bit higher than where the stoppers are. Well, in our case right now, so you get the idea. So, okay, it's gotta go a little bit higher there. Let's look on the outside, maybe a little bit higher on that side. So I'm gonna lift those both up a tiny bit. Okay, so I raised them a tiny bit on both sides. I mean, you're getting the idea here, you guys. So see how there's a little gap, but I did raise them a tiny bit. So now you just, see? So that side's gotta go up a tiny bit. And I think the back's good. Let's go look from the outside. Okay, so I'm just looking at this. See, when I close it, this side is perfect. Just the front here, see it can go up a tiny, tiny bit. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I think that's it. And she's aligned. And then that's that guys. And the more you push these things out then the more the window goes like this way, if you need it to go more, we got them pretty tight already. It looks good. As long as the window hits on this metal thing, um, not on that side of it, but on this side of it, then the window will go into its groove when the door is closed. Okay, so one more little final adjustment there. I'll bring that up just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, guys. So I believe she's perfect now. So that's how you play around with that, guys. Let's go inside and see how it works really quick. Okay, are you guys ready for this? And keep in mind, the car's not running. Windows go up a lot faster than they are. I'm gonna say that's perfect. And also the other side, guys. Boom, look at that. Everything's nicely greased up in there. Both windows fixed, guys. So all we got left is on that side. Remember that rod was all bent, guys? So it turns out it's gotta be straight. So I straightened it out. Uh, let me just quickly show you this. See, so there it is. You do have to kind of adjust it with these adjusters so it can open and so it can you know, lock, unlock, right? And also there is these uh, metal things. See, like they look like this. So these lock it so it doesn't fall off. So we're missing both of those. So guys, in the description of this video, there will be a link to these as well. They're like $25 for a pack of them. Not bad at all. So we still need those here. And that's about it, guys. So I'm gonna put all these interior pieces back together right now. 
Um, I'll quickly show you guys when that's all put together so you can check out how nice it looks. Okay guys, here we are, check it out. Everything's looking nice, everything's put together. I'm super happy guys. Window up, window down, no big deal. Make sure you subscribe guys, check the links for the whole series and check the links for parts as well guys. Thanks for watching Problem Solver Garage guys. Another successful episode. We're that much closer to getting this thing on the road guys. I love Problem Solver Garage.